All right, y'all. Welcome back to the Vessel Brie. That's me, baby. Yes, I'm in my jammies and all nice and comfortable. You know what I'm saying? All right. This is um. This is gonna be for what spirit wants you, is guiding you to, or what you're already healing at this time. Okay, Gemini. So I already pulled a couple cards. We're gonna get right into it. I feel a very nervous energy and dehydrated. Right. Somebody could be dehydrated, or maybe it could just be me, okay? Body armor telling you work better than super hydration, baby. It work better than Gatorade. I'm trying to tell you, don't believe me, just try it. Or I'm getting like the, um, don't believe me, just watch, okay? Don't believe me, just watch, all right? So it's like people didn't believe in you or believe what you were doing. And it's like you could be in an energy of where you're walking away like, all right, just watch me. Just watch. All right. Um, but we're going to focus focus on right now what spirit is guiding you more so to heal at this time. All right. You could be dealing with any of these signs or have any of these signs in your chart. You could be dealing with um, Libra. I have Pisces here twice. Aries, Virgo, Leo. Or our Earth sign. Okay. I feel like your energy right now you're you could be indecisive you have a lot of you know head over heart decisions to make a lot of difficult decisions here with the um with the two of swords or something about um too calm or nonchalant a nonchalant energy about you that spirit wants you to not avoid i feel like some of you guys could be waiting to make a decision or avoiding to make a decision due to the difficulty of it. And spirits wanting you to kind of like take the mask off, be assertive and and make the make the decision. All right? Or this is what you were battling with or are battling with. All right? I feel like you're very focused, you're very determined. You're looking good, you're smelling good. All right? Some of you guys are very spiritual, very confident, but they want you to make a confident decision or if you haven't came to 222 two, two, all right if you haven't came to this balanced energy where you feel like you can make a decision don't make an impulsive decision spirits like all right wait if you have to wait you know but don't avoid spirit wants you to heal the way that you may avoid difficult decisions in your life and get you to see how you know some of you guys could avoid heartbreak right it's like if I sit in this two of swords, if I sit in this energy and just wait and wait and wait and just weigh out my options, you know, <clears throat> then I can avoid heartbreak, which, you know, unfortunately is a part of life, but it's not the part of life, right? I feel like you guys are in a place of where you could be walking away from something, someone leaving some things behind that you feel you have to emotionally detach from. Spirit saying, don't be afraid or avoid emotional detachment. And when I say this, I don't mean like detaching from your own emotions, but detaching from things that no longer benefit, serve, or fulfill you emotionally. Lack of emotional stability. I feel like you're in this place of, you know, Maybe feeling disappointed or you're having to say no to something, but there's something about you prolonging this decision. And spirit is saying that this is a this could be a pattern for you that they want you to heal and look at yourself. And how by avoiding certain decisions and or people, you know, it's blocking, it's like it makes it harder to emotionally detach from what's not healthy for you anymore. You have the Eight of Cups here, and I'm looking at you walking past the illusion now. Right? So you guys are withdrawing. But they don't want you to become numb. As you walk away from certain experiences, as you walk away, they want you to take the lesson, learning experience. They want you to learn from experiences, not withdraw, right? Some of you guys are tapping out. I'm hearing tap out, tap out. Somebody you guys, some of you guys could be 
like watching the Karate Kid or something like that. And because this guy right here looks like like a white belt or something about taking a karate class would be beneficial for you or this is what you do. You could be Chinese, Japanese, Korean. I mean, I'm seeing Korea or like you like watching movies like this or like I'm getting fighting, like fighting, like you martial arts. Okay, somebody does martial arts or like this will really help you. Okay. Somebody could be 28 or 23. 32. I feel like with the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Empress and the Empress at the bottom of the deck, spirit is something about your anxiety or nervousness. Somebody could bite their nails a lot or like fiddle with like gadgets or like fidget spinners, something like that. Or it makes you very tense. And spirit is wanting you to analyze that more and, and find practices that help heal that, right? But a lot of you guys, that energy comes from the avoidance, healing the avoidance of difficult decisions. Because you have eight cups here, right? So really, when you make this decision that you're waiting to make or that it's prolonged, whatever this is here, maybe you have to communicate something and it requires you to communicate that you're leaving something behind. Maybe somebody communicated this to you. It's like overcoming disappointment. You're overcoming disappointment. And you're seeing how with the Eight of Cups, because after the Eight of Cups is the Nine of Cups. So with you walking away from one thing, you're opening doors to another, to, to what you really want, to a new opportunity here. And Spirit is wanting you to trust this new opportunity. Spirit is also saying, you know, it's up to you. The decision is yours, so there's a choice that you're making that's up to you, but it's so hard for some of you guys that you're sometimes in a place of where you're like, I'm just not going to make it at all. Now, this could be a subconscious thing, but I feel like for some of you guys, it's like, I don't want to tell you enjoy it, but I say it, it's comfortable for you to sit in the two of swords. But is it really comfortable if it brings all that anxiety and, and, and stress, right? It's like some of you guys were settling at some point in time. The spirit doesn't want you to settle. Some of you guys are healing, whether this is you or another person. Issues with somebody. It's like greed. Obsessed, obsessed with wealth and status. Spirit doesn't want you to get obsessed with wealth and status because just as quick as they bring it to you, they can take it away. Or, or this is, you know, for some of you guys, this is you and someone else. Or I feel like another energy creeping in that could have been obsessed with, with wealth and money and greed. And it's like you had to walk away from this energy. Whether that's the energy surrounding you or within you. Material loss. It's like watching where you place your value and does that hold quality or quantity? Because I feel like you're shifting into an energy as you heal and recognize this more about yourself. They want you to, to, to heal that part of your connection to riches. And how you define what rich is. Because a lot of you guys are wealthy in spirit, but maybe you're struggling financially. You're still rich. What does rich mean to you? What does wealth mean to you? 
If you have a million dollars, but you're so sick, not saying that you guys are sick, this is just an example, but you are unhealthy, what does it matter? You're not, you're not even going to be able to enjoy it. It's like understanding the value of yourself and not the value of materialism, right? Because some of you guys come from, I'm hearing the trenches, and they don't want you, before they give you this opportunity, this empress here, so, so for some of you guys, this is a divine counterpart. And I just heard the horn blow. All right, sorry about that. Before they give you um, this empress for, for some of you guys who are wanting to be a mother or father, like I said, divine counterpart, they want you to re-examine the way you look at what wealth is. It's like if you have a wealthy, rich connection, is that based upon the core, the depth of the connection, or financial stability to you, right? So I feel like you're leaving behind those false pretenses or false definitions behind what wealth is. It's like if you was to lose all of your money, would you still be able to recognize that you are still wealthy? I feel like Spirit's wanting you to trust this as well. Trust that whatever you're walking away from, going from the eight to the nine, you're walking towards wish fulfillment. For some of you guys, towards a child, towards a new connection, towards yourself. And Spirit's wanting you to trust this trust this opportunity but we also have you know free will so it ultimately it's your decision right I'm hearing no more waiting make the decision or no more avoiding the inevitable because for some of you guys I do see It's like you're letting go of control and bringing in attraction, expansion, accomplishment as well, growth. It's like you're not controlling the growth of things. You're being guided to flow with the growth of things, flow with the unexpected. And then you have magic here that came out in reverse, which is representing um, manifestation for me at this time, self-mastery. Maybe you're mastering a craft, you could be an entrepreneur, mastering yourself, right? Breaking one, how do you, for some of you guys, it's like, how do I control, how do I master this place in my life and spirits like you're not meant to you're meant to just flow at ease with it because underneath the empress with opportunity here there is opportunity coming towards you right and you see the coins here an abundance of overflow of opportunities right and this could be financially like you're going to get there where I mean, you're meant to be financially blessed it's something about recognizing the definition of wealth is really what I'm getting. Maybe you feel like leaving this place in your life, whatever you are disappointed about walking away from, made you take a financial um, cut or somebody's afraid of bankruptcy here. But money is energy. Money is energy. So if you're in that energy of attracting, you can attract whatever you lost right back to you. Meaning for some of you guys, even more than what you lost. You're being guided to tap into the magic of yourself, the power of yourself. Because by you avoiding these decisions, 
it's putting a blockage on your manifestations here whatever you are manifesting even if that is finances I see in cleanse here yeah frustration at the bottom of the deck you guys are frustrated because you're trying to you see how the square is trying to fit through the circle whatever you're doing for some of you guys it's not working and I feel like it's because you need to heal the idea of the fact that you need to control everything and it's like if you can't control something you avoid it and that's what spirit is wanting you to work on because it's a, it's a situation where you could be left you know to feel by yourself or abandoned but it's like I feel like you're meant to be in that place if you are to reanalyze some things we have cleanse and creativity so your your energy is being purified at this time or by you making this decision you're gonna be able to cleanse out what no longer serves you with creativity here we're getting a lot of purple you're connecting a lot with the divine with the universe and you have a lot of ideas that you're trying to bring into fruition that you're trying to manifest and you feel like you know the more you try the more you force it right the less it works it just brings you into this place of frustration yeah mystery it's like you don't really know where you're going or what's to come next but maybe you're not supposed to it's like finding the beauty and the magic within the unknown which really is finding the beauty and the magic within yourself because when you can't trust what's going on can you trust yourself yeah, I would trust you. Can you trust the process? Can you trust that Miss High is not going to bring you through a situation and or bring you out of a situation and then just leave you astray? That's not what's going to happen. Because with the Empress here, they're bringing you towards expan expansion. Somebody has a very creative genius like mine anger you're frustrated and angry that something didn't work out here but look at the sweetness at the bottom of the deck whatever you're frustrated or angry about this could be about um, something you're doing creatively or like I said a relationship finances whatever this is you're being guided to cleanse and release that It's like the more you tap into your intuition, the more you tap into the energy of trust, the more that this anger will dwindle away. Love. Replacing that anger with love. Look how that tiny little heart is just shining so bright, right? This opportunity, I feel like, for you guys is to experience true, real, divine love as well. Because whatever you're walking away from, you didn't get that. energy yeah. with the orange here that's giving me sacral um, chakra creativity if you like your creativity your thoughts are blocked I'm here sort of have writer block or something like that you're being guided to trust the energy that you're in whether that's anger whether that's love and being able to move through through that because with the death card here you're going through an ending but when something is ended endings are always you can't have an ending without a new beginning so the way that you look at this transformation look at it as you are truly walking past or through the illusion towards your new beginning Some of you guys need to work on healing the way that you communicate your emotions when it comes to anger, frustration, to not keep it pent up and held inside, but to release it. Rejection. I feel like you're healing the way that you deal with rejection as well. Because a lot of the time, you know, rejection is your divine protection. Your, re your rejection is your redirection. You're being redirected. 
because whatever you were dealing with it was not benefiting you I feel like spirit sees your pain they want you to be in a comfortable place but not too comfortable right a lot of things are being illuminated to you at this time possibly some things that were hidden that are making you angry and it feels painful but I'm really getting it's a part of your pr protection because whatever you were dealing with had you stayed in that situation this magic card would still be in reverse it would be prolonging yeah it would be stopping your manifestations wow yeah protection whatever you were dealing with was a part of your protection your money is protected as well like I said whatever was lost you're gonna you're gonna gain back and then some like spirit and is exactly your guides and exactly what they're doing but if they left you it's like you had to reject this opportunity or had to go to this go through this re, um this rejection in order to kind of shift your mindset and heal certain things that you may not have consciously been aware of You have emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception. Yeah, so whatever you're dealing with, I'm getting the moon card with the sun, actually. You're transforming from not being able to trust, from not being able to, you know, always feeling like something's elusive, something's hidden, to the sun, being enlightened, being in this good energy, this vibrant energy, illumination. It's like emotions can distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So you're still healing from a situation where you still feel hurt by certain people. Right? Spirit's wanting you to let go of that resentment. Because it's, it's, it's not going to benefit you and there's nothing to worry about. Everything is happening in divine order. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are. And your relationship will magically transform. So like I said, like this is a relationship that you have with someone or you walking away <clears throat> from someone else or someone else or some of you guys are transforming a relationship with um, a feminine energy. This could be someone you have kids with. Right, a lover, a mother figure. It's like kind of like letting go of, of, of the critic, of the critic of criticized of being criticized. It's blocking the love that this powerful love that spirit is trying to give you. Power, you instinctively know what is right for you. You have the power to say no or walk away at any time, and I feel like that's what a lot of you guys are doing because you see I'm getting serpent energy. The snake, like energy, which you couldn't see, whatever was hidden. Like I said, by being in the, the two of swords energy, not making a choice, you couldn't see that, you know, it was still, it's like hurting you. It's like once you recognize something is not right for you, you can no longer blame the situation of the other person because now it's self-inflicting pain because now you are aware. I feel like you're walking away from that energy and embracing those missing pieces that you're trying to find within your life. They're not even trying to find that you are attracting. That's coming towards you. Okay. So I'm going to get one more card from here. Or three. Or four. balance coming into this energy of balance they want you to be able to balance out your emotions balance out this situation balance out yourself i'm getting the two of pentacles in my eye here it's like you're juggling a lot and and through this through healing what is what is being what is triggering you it's like you're being intentionally triggered by the divine. They're allowing it to be happen. They're allowing it to happen in order for growth. 
Love's not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that supports and challenges. Exactly, they're challenging you. They're testing you. So don't, it's saying wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. But I feel like spirit is saying wait, don't avoid. If you need to take your time to make a certain decision, do that. But some of you guys, there's a difference between waiting and avoiding. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. Okay, so in the beginning, you're, you're, I'm getting you, you're used to making, you know, your air sign mind over, over heart decisions. Maybe that's why you're waiting, weighing your options. But I feel like Spirit is guiding you to see some decision, something that you're dealing with, needs to be handled in the matters of the heart, not the mind. Because something may not logically make sense to others. Yeah, King of Swords right here. You're making head over heart decisions. I feel like you're trying to get clarity on a confusing situation. And I also feel like you will. By connecting more with your emotions, right? With what you truly want, with what you desire. Because there's an emperor, an emperor energy here. Aries energy, we have the emperor and the empress. This very well could be uh, parents or a divine connection, divine counterpart. It's like you're meant to lead. But there's a difference between leadership and control. It keeps coming up. I feel like there's a connection spirit is trying to give you, but you could still have strings attached to other things. Right? There could be a lack of accountability here. Spirit's wanting you to take accountability for not what you went through, but possibly for what you accepted and allowed. It's like, I feel like you're in a place of where you're teaching people how to treat you, but you're also teaching yourself how to treat yourself. So what do we have here? We're going to end it here soon. This is a long read, y'all. Yeah, there's a relationship that some of you guys are deciding not to work on. But I also feel like you're being guided to work on the relationship within your family, healing family issues. As you forgive your parents, you're able to experience more love. All right. And then you have separation in reverse. So you're going to be coming out of separation from someone here. As you forgive and learn more, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Because some of you guys are dealing with a soulmate or are attracting one in. But it's like there's some things you have to let go of in order to receive this. Yeah, passion. There's a lot of passion here with this person, with this soulmate. But it's like I'm hearing, I'm seeing like fra I'm seeing like a fragile label in something. Your heart is very fragile at this time, so they want you to nurture and build yourself back up. Yeah, this situation involves marriage. wedding here the situation involves marriage some of you guys could have felt stuck in a marriage or you felt like you couldn't express yourself and I feel like what you're attracting now is a relationship where you're going to be able to whether the one that you're transforming whether you know you walking away from one going towards another that's going to be very healing for you that you're not going to have to pay attention to red flags or feel alarmed I'm hearing ring the alarm. Yeah, you're not going to have to do that. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, but I feel like there's someone you're going to be getting to know, but it requires you to get to know yourself first on a deeper level. All right, so that's what I have for you guys. And if you resonate, take it. If you don't, then maybe the next read will be for you.